Hello everyone. Uh, today we will talk about how to offer your property in Dubai for either rent or sale. Uh, first of all, before going through the pricing and the negotiation and the listing and everything, you have to keep your property clean and fresh. Because whenever your broker will bring someone to show the property, that potential client has to feel welcome, has, has to, uh, to, to enjoy the experience of opening the door and entering your property. This is very important, by the way, and it is a deal breaker sometimes because some clients, uh, especially rental clients, would, would definitely prefer to have something when you open the door and mm, some nice smell, like looking clean, looking fresh, uh, everything is, uh, is, is fine. No like uh, surprises inside, like a bad smell or, or say uh, something broken. It's a big, big deal breaker. Uh, second of all, you have to study the market. How would you study the market? You can go to any online portal and uh, down, um, uh, downsize your, uh, your search in terms of you can, you can search by the building, by the number of rooms, by the villa, by the office, by size. Uh, it's that specific. You can specify and uh, shortlist your, your search. Based on that, you see what's there on the market and what is the, the offering prices mentioned there. So you can, you can set your, your target price based or close to the market price unless you want to, uh, like you, you bought it on a, on a more expensive uh, rate when, when you bought it last time and you want to at least come the closest possible to this rate which you bought it on. However, if you bought it like let's say uh, 40 50 percent more than the market uh, then i don't think it's a good idea to offer it for for sale on, on that price because uh, obviously you will not uh, be able to sell it uh, easily or if you are able to sell it uh, then always when you set the price leave a little room for negotiations because it's always good uh, to to have this negotiation room on rent or on sale because whoever wants to buy your property would definitely um, be happy to, to save a little bit no matter how much it is and this saving for example if, if we're talking about the rental can uh, can be not only on the on the rental compensation or the rental price of your property but it can be also in the in the um, number of checks and flexibility on the on the payment terms if you opted to go for that after, after putting your, your price objective and everything, you would definitely have to contact a broker who is specialized in, uh, in this area or in the building you're, you're offering your uh, property for sale or for rent. And you can discuss the market and agree and get the best advice on, um, on the best price you want to list it and, uh, and all the related uh, stuff. Because for rent, it's simple, it's, it's finding the client, it's, uh, it's seeing what's the market uh, all about, how many checks, what's the, what's the rental. Uh, you can also specify to your agent on the caliber of clients that you would want to have in your property. Uh, as like some, uh, some people don't prefer to have uh, single uh, tenants or some people prefer a family, some pre people prefer uh, an executive, uh, like no children, you know, there's, there's a lot of possibilities or preferences that you need to specify and agree on. Uh, as for sale, when, when you call your specialized agent uh, in this area, he or she would know what are the related procedures in terms of NOC, uh, in terms of, uh, of where to go and what to do and what to advise, and plus, you have to know what are the unique selling points of, uh, of, your, uh, of your property. Being it the view, being it the location, being it the, the space, being it the layout. And this would also help uh, when you are dealing with a specialized agent where he or she knows what are the, the main selling points and can promote it accordingly and find the right uh, agent, and, uh, sorry, find the right client and get you the best uh, price for what you're asking for uh, then after doing the cleaning and everything always have on your phone some nice photos where you can quickly share with your agent 
because not not all the agents have um, have access or or just for the quick reference it makes the agents life easier and they uh, they can post the, the photos and can share it with their clients put it on groups whatever uh, possible to make the sale or rent happen the quickest possible and besides that prepare the documents the title deed and uh, your uh, ID being in the passport or the Emirates ID uh, and the NOC why that when you when the when the agent asks for these from the landlord like especially I would ask it from uh, from uh, my clients I I feel this resistance it's not like they always no. I don't want to share anything just put it and however now with uh, with the RERA regulations to make everything transparent and, and make everything um, easier for the lives of the landlords and the agents uh, and the clients uh, they require these documents the title deed the passport copy and an NOC or without the NOC why better to have everything when, when you have the title deed, the, the, the ID, and the NOC, you can get your property featured. Featured, it will take uh, like number one in the, in the search results, and this would give your property more exposure. Take note that when we list your property, we do not enter the unit number. So, whoever has concerns of privacy, I don't want people to know that I'm putting my property on rent or on sale, this would not show and uh, obviously when you have your your photos you would know what photos to post and what photos not to post in in case you have concerns about not showing your property uh, and announcing that it's for sale or for rent so that some of your contacts might uh, recognize that it's yours uh, and last but not least you have to follow up with your agents from time to time, on a weekly basis, on uh, on every couple of days, send a message, send a, like uh, uh, call them, uh, say hello, just to get an update on the progress, on the on the market response, on uh, the status of renting and selling your property. Because agents don't have only your property to work on. We have many properties. We have many uh, landlords also that uh, that are doing this and following up. This will kind of keep your property on the top of mind of the agent and, uh, and make it kind of uh, give it more potential uh, to rent. And there's a small tip as well, which a lot of uh, landlords do. They tell the agents uh, that or they promise the agents some motivation. Motivation for agents in, uh, like us, you know, most of, of the agents don't get a salary. So the motivation can be uh, most probably an extra um, commission uh, or uh, some small monetary compensation this will also help it's not a must but it's a tip that a lot of uh, landlords uh, do and uh, they make their their properties uh, more popular by the agents and thus more chances to get rented or sold um, this is just a quick um, quick tips so um, I hope I've, uh, I've mentioned the most useful things. I'm sure there are many ideas that, uh, that you can share with me and, uh, and put on your comments so that other viewers can benefit from that. And uh, I hope this was beneficial and uh, see you soon. Thank you.